cross tie etiquette. Here's five simple horse stable routine that you can follow and not to piss anybody else off. So let's get started. Hi there, my name is Laura and welcome to another video. If you'd like to have some ideas on how to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Do you use the cross ties at your stable? Do you know proper cross tie etiquette? Well, here's five cross tie etiquette ideas that you can have and share with your friends. What is your biggest cross tie pet peeve? Put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Number one, don't put your horse on the cross tie and then walk away. Have you ever seen anybody do this? I've seen this done so many times. It's very dangerous for one, and it's really rude if you're using a cross tie and then you're going back out to your vehicle or to the bathroom or going to the tack room to get your stuff. Get your stuff first, put it out where you want to be, and then get your horse. The last thing you should do is get your horse and put it on the cross ties. You don't want your horse unattended while it's on the cross ties. Number two, here's one of my pet peeves about cross ties. People just unclipping their horse and letting the snap hit the side of the barn wall. I hate that. It's a really simple thing to do. Don't let the cross ties bang against the wall. It makes, it's just, I don't know why it bothers me, but it just does. It breaks the clips. It frightens the horses. It's noisy. Gently let the clip fall down. Number three, for me anyway, is yanking on the cross tie and yanking on the horse's halter. Don't yank on the horse's halter when you're undoing the clips. Number four, very dangerous to pass underneath the cross ties when there's a horse on the cross tie. If I have a horse on the cross tie and my horse doesn't like other horses around it, that's dangerous. Likewise, if my horse is on the cross tie and you're leading a horse underneath the cross ties that it doesn't like, or is rude, or kicks, or bite, or whatever, that's not good either. Undo the clip nicely, don't let it bang, push your horse over and cross that way. That's the safest way. Or if it's a horse that's not very nice, is mean, kicks out, put it in a stall, unclip it, put it in its stall, and then let the horse cross. Passing underneath the cross ties is really dangerous. If you're on cross ties and somebody's coming through the cross ties, unclip both sides of the cross ties, put your lead shank on, well, put your lead shank on first, undo both sides of the cross ties, and then hold your horse while the other horse passes. This is the safest way to do it. Undoing just one clip, pushing the horse over, that's another option, but it is not as safe as undoing both and pushing the horse over. If somebody is already using the cross ties and has their stuff there while they're out riding, go use another set of cross ties. It's not that big a deal. If that's not possible, if there's not another set, then if when they come back, hand them their stuff. When you're finished in the cross ties and you're heading out to ride, don't leave the halter dangling off the cross ties. You see this a lot. It's dangerous if a horse gets their foot caught in it. Remove the halter completely from the cross ties and hang it up somewhere. Don't leave it on the ground. Hang it up out of the way so it doesn't get trampled on and doesn't get tangled up in someone else's horse's hooves. And notice I didn't even mention clean up your mess after you use the cross ties. I'm hoping I don't have to mention that one. Clean up your mess. Don't leave the manure, hoof picking crap and stuff hanging around. Clean up your mess before you go to ride. Clean up your mess after you've done. And leave it the way you found it. It's simple really, isn't it? What is the worst thing that you have found when you have gone to the cross ties? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. My name is Laura, and if you'd like to have some ideas on how to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then stay tuned because there's lots more videos here. Now, go use this stuff. Go hug your horse. Go use this stuff. Thanks now. Bye.